Okay, so let's go ahead and start processing our image. And you can see from selection, um, I'll just select one of these because it has kind of interesting look. And it, this was shot on a Canon R5 with a f5.6 1 1 25th uh, shutter speed because it was using studio lighting, three lights at top, and ISO 100. We also have a little bit different ones. This one have a dress, and you know what? Maybe I'm not sure which one. Let's go actually use it this just because have a bit bigger look. I'm just looking right now on a head positioning. Yeah, that one will work as well. So let's go ahead and open this image, and I'm opening from um, Adobe Bridge. And because it was shot in a raw format, it will open with a camera raw for us. Okay, inside the camera raw. What I want to do, you can see right here, face is a little bit too bright. We'll take highlights, take highlights down to um, reduce some of that brightness. Maybe around that area. Okay, we'll leave it exposure same. We'll take our sharpening, restore original sharpening. And we'll going in a color mixer, luminosity tab. We'll restore also a little bit brightness, yellow and orange on the skin tones. Um, in the optics tab on profile, remove chromatic abbreviation and use it. Profile corrections is enabled. I'm sure I'm actually working with the Adobe RGB um, color space and this is same as on my camera so I try to use the same thing sometimes I may switch to sRGB if I'm using specific plugins that, that does not support it and I'm using 16-bit channel let's go ahead click OK and we're going now click open so at this time we open this image inside the um, Adobe Photoshop so let's look a little bit closer in our image what do we want to do and I'm actually looking. Okay, we have it in contrast. I think what we're we going first is a retouching. So um, let's check our framing. And you know what? Maybe just a little bit up right here. I'm just trying to keep it in proportion with this. And if I change canvas, I want to be sure my content aware is checked in that one. Photoshop will use their own um, AI to fill up some of those gaps. Okay, you can see it's fill up good. We have it right here a little bit um, piece of the softbox and we're going to use it in patch tool to select our softbox. We don't need to worry about too much about that softbox. We're just going and maybe just replace with something like this. So it should be okay because this is a little bit dark corner out of the way so we won't see it at all. Let's create new layer and this layer will uh, touch up. This layer will going to use its spot healing brush. Let's zoom closer to the face on our model. Okay. And I'm just going to just touch up a little bit thing. So we don't want to remove. Um, this is drawing uh, draw effect. And actually, this is off style. So I'll remove it right now because this is more Barocco and those dots was more in Rococo time. So even it was makeup, but we don't need that makeup right now. Um, so I'm just general removing some things that is may draw our attention more than from eye okay this was on a face i'm just going to check here we're okay no logos nothing is showing okay i think that is good so let's go zoom out this is was very easy to touch up sometimes you may need to take a little bit longer time but i think in this case we done kind of nicely with a short one so let's go ahead next I want to reduce some of the sharpness on the skin to create more look like it is um, painting skin so for this we're going to press ctrl shift alt e command option alt e and you can see the keyboard shortcut should be showing on the bottom left of our screen 
What it does is take all visible layers, combine them together, and brand new. Um, let's go call it smooth. Okay, we'll go add smoothing. Next, we'll take our brush, and before brush, actually, we want to go filter, noise, going dust and scratches. And in this case, we should have it smooth. I depend on your resolution. I think for this, we need going about maybe 2019. So around there, go ahead, click OK. And it will apply this. We don't want to actually use it at this moment. We want to use it in specific areas. For this, we will going to use mask. So I'm going hold down Alt or Option key on a Mac, press down and click on a mask. So it will create a black mask for us. And now when we're using our brush with 10% opacity, we can zoom in and we can brush in, smooth this in the skin where they think it should apply like maybe around here let's reduce our brush all that it does it's take some of that contrast on a lower level and remove it so it's another case it's just smoothing out some of the texturing so removing contrast which is creating somewhat painting effect um, I have had several videos where kind of we're going over how does it work and generally you can figure out this is um, to simulate painting because you have a different type of the um, artist and usually you just paint over and after you take bristle brush and with a darker color just very fast go over and creating look like uh, texturing of the skin so it's all what we simulating there that look okay let's go zoom out and most important of course for our to do on the hands so we add here and we can do this smooth out a little bit on the hands we do that one and we also need to do smooth out our other hand almost any time when we do we need to be sure we do other hands as well okay so right here i think this is about right okay so our next step it is add some work on the hair so for that one let's go just to zoom out okay a position and hair and flowers it's artificial flowers so, so we want them look somewhat natural for this same control shift alt e command option alt e create new layer by combining all let's go call it hair and in this case we're going to filter stylize oil painting and in all painting we want to be sure we're using uh, 10 stylization 10 cleanliness scale zero one brush line we want uplighting so it will give it us um, nice texturing and let's see if it is give it enough texture if it's not enough when you go to filter sharpness and we go on sharp mask we just add a little bit more to our effect right there let's go ahead and click ok same things as before we want to kind of a little bit hide on this hair we don't want everywhere so alt or option click on a mask to create and hide and now we can also just go zoom in closer to our model we can just brush in space and you can see it already have this look like it was brushed look very good on long hair but beside this i want also apply to the flowers and you can see it's nice techniques on the flowers because it will hide the effect it's actually look a little bit artificial flowers so with this we'll make more look like a painting and it's what i'm doing just we don't need to worry too much about accuracy in this case but this one be sure it is or flowers and you can see even from here it's look quite a bit nice look way more as a real paint so let's go right there also 
and we have it additional paint um, flowers we have it a little bit on the side and right here because it's a uh, aperture was 5.6 so it's not very shallow but still somewhat we'll have it a little bit more um, non blur on the side there okay let's go ahead and we'll just a little bit paint here as well and a little bit on the bottom I think this is about all places okay so our next step it's creating a dutch and burn we'll go create new layer we'll call it db dutch and burn and we're going to fill up with 50 percent gray 100 percent opacity let's go ahead and click ok and we'll switch this to soft light mode now by using black and white brushes we can also just draw shadows and highlights and that's what we're going to do we don't need to do too much but i think that kind of will work very good right right here in the face and i'm going just to add a little bit okay right there shadows switch to the white add highlights mostly like specular lighting and brighten up right there triangle so we have our lighting Okay, same with the hands, we just add a little bit highlights. Okay, switch to the dark, add shadowing. And overall you can see like on a hand, very easy way, but it's add more volume, add kind of look like more realistic. Okay, there you go. Let's go zoom out. And also we have it need to add a round vignetting for this i will go create another layer and we'll call it environmental dutch and burn the reason is i like to separate so it does not um create it just on the model because we have it separate our main character and now we can do this with environment so in an environment i just want to make darker around there around areas focus just on our model so this is our hero okay we add a little bit more dark around there okay and as we look before and after you can see we're just hiding a little bit more attention to our face we can also switch to the white and just a little bit draw around so again it's like a spotlight that's what we're creating Okay, and then next, I think this is kind of look good now. Let's go create new screen. We'll fill up again with 50% gray in this case. We'll go to filter, noise, add noise. And this is to compensate 5% for the noise we remove it when we're smoothing on our skin. So this way it will look somewhat like more real blending all these different elements that we applied because many filters that we was using, there are remove some noise so by this we can introduce and it's unifying with the noise everything okay so we have a nice beautiful here all this done let's go ahead next add a little bit of the coloring and on the coloring actually i'm going to click down and use it selective colors our selective colors was stuck with the black take black a little bit up a little bit less crush it we add blue to the hour shadows and let's go to cyan slightly like very very light cyan on the neutrals we want to go a little bit more into the yellow and red so we're going to work between cold and warm colors so those is combination we're doing we can go check also our white see how it is and you can see flat or other ones i think we'll go on the zero let's look fine okay next it's important for us a red and other ones because you can see red like all over and i want a little bit make more deeper red in this case and maybe even add like minus two on a little bit more on the red even okay you go right there and yeah a little bit warmer so we do even more warmer same with yellow we can add See right here just a little bit more royal kind of a yellow add i think like around there you can try play around and see how it will work in your case um, most time 
will be just um, slightly adjustments okay so let's go ahead and uh, look a little bit closer see how it come up I think it's look very good I don't know what else we can we can play a little bit more but uh, overall we have a nice lighting at the beginning all the setup and we just highlighted kind of more details on the face and hands and just enhance some other things I think it's look very good um, what do we need to do is just go ahead add um, name okay there you go select it make it smaller 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 like around there okay white color I'll put it in a corner and I'm going to set hardly visible so it's still be there if people want it they can see it but I don't want to take attention from everything and there you go this is our image we done we can go combine let's call it touching and this is was before and this is after so it's just a little touch up overlay with color creating more um, royal look to this kind of more painting old painting look but again it was not that hard usually when you have a proper image and I do have it some classes coming and videos about studio lighting how to stop how to achieve like this look where the lights need to be located so thank you for watching this video if you like it give it a thumbs up um, please subscribe click on that button because it will help me to promote this video and you will also know when is new videos out uh, again thank you for watching and have a fun time to work with this